The Petersburg School District says they know cell phone use in classrooms is contributing to a number of problems. They say it's taking away from learning, increasing cyberbullying, and also leading to behavioral issues. And that's why the district is proposing a pilot program in select schools that would lock cell phones in pouches. Petersburg Schools is the next Central Virginia school district looking to curtail cell phone use in the classroom. Our purpose really is about how the phone free concept can improve our students outcome. The district is connecting with the national company Yonder to explore their locked phone pouch program. It puts cell phones in a magnetized pouch that can be sealed shut at points of entry in the school. The pouch is kept on the student during the day and open by the student with a centrally located magnet in the school when they leave. It's a program Richmond schools plans to pilot in select schools in January and one Hopewell school has been using it since the start of the school year. The district says they've worked with Hopewell closely to see what the impact has been. They said that the students were able to get more instruction time. The students were able to behave better and also they were able to show improvement in their grades. For the next two and a half weeks, Petersburg schools will be surveying parents, teachers and students before it goes before the school board. They are suggesting implementing the pilot program for 7th and 8th graders at Vernon Johns Middle School, 6th graders at Blandford Academy, and 6th through 12th graders at Pittman Academy. This will increase, our, increase and build meaningful connections between our students and our teachers um, and reduce classroom dis distractions that will create a positive school climate. The district says parents will be able to communicate with their kid through the front office and the school will contact them if there is an emergency. As a parent and grandparent, I can understand where there may be reservations regarding accessing our children directly. However, communication and access will continue as we have phones in every classroom. Several teachers, as well as myself, have provided our own cell phone numbers. District leaders are calling on parents to weigh in. Please get involved, provide us with some feedback and uh, helps us to prepare for our, our school board meeting. In Petersburg, Maggie Marshall, CBS 6 News.